mornings in my house are chaotic to say the least and I'm sure anyone with small children will understand what I mean. I get so many questions from either other mothers or girls that ask me or young women that are super busy. They always ask me how do you find time to self-care and how do you find time for yourself? And what do you do to bring those little moments of joy into your life? So I wanted to do a little video to show you these small little things that I try to include on a daily basis and not obviously not all of them all at once and sometimes I don't even get to do one but it's those small little treats that doesn't require me to book a day off completely or to cancel all my plans just little small moments that make me feel free and happy and feeling like I'm taking care of me now I wanted to say a huge thank you to Joe Fresh for sponsoring this video and collaborating with me I was so excited when I learned about the Joe Fresh spring campaign this campaign is called free or fresh and it's all about finding moments of joy in your everyday they invited me to do the free or fresh challenge and asked me to make a video to show how I find these moments in my daily routine all the clothing you see is from Joe Fresh and available at joefresh.com once the chaos in the house is done and my kids are out the door, Maxi is sleeping, first thing I do is breathe. This is something that I try to do on a daily basis. Most of us are not even aware of it, but we're not breathing enough or properly. It's so, so important. So just making sure that I sit down and give myself that one minute to take three to five deep breaths is extremely important. It lowers down my anxiety levels after an insane loud morning. It really signals the start of my day. I'm sure you guys hear it over and over again and every possible media outlet will tell you how exercising and moving your body is so important. And some days I feel like a rock star and I go to that gym and crush my workout. Other days I get some time to run to a quick Pilates class. But a lot of the times I really don't have the time to do it um, if it's because of my schedule or maybe just because I want to relax at home and not to drag myself anywhere but what I do try to do is to stretch at least every morning if I can so this could be really basic stretching just to kind of waking your body to show it a little bit of love you want to make sure that your muscles are flexible strong and healthy so stretching is a great way to get a little benefit in all you really need to do is 30 seconds, one minute, two minutes, whatever feels good. Realistically, my skincare routine is probably the most joyful part of my days and I think that the way you treat your skin is such a great way to show love to yourself and your body and make yourself feel good. That's something that I do without a fail every single morning and every night no matter what's going on. I will start with washing my face. I'll use a rose water mist to freshen it up and tone my skin. It also calms me down. It has a little bit of those essential oils benefits for me so I really enjoy Enjoy using it and I have to admit I might be using it way more than I should although there's no limit to how much rose water you can spritz. I'm very gentle with my skin I like to tap I like to warm oils with my hands I love using oils I have a dry skin so for me I really take my hydration very seriously When I do have time, I love using the Gua Sha. Gua Sha is a tool that is made out of a stone or a crystal and it is very similar to the Jade Roller. It's really a technique to relieve tension in the muscle of the face, to boost blood circulation and encourage lymphatic drainage to banish bloat. I personally do see it helps with the sculpting a little bit and I actually enjoy the process. There's a lot of information out there on different methods and techniques so you can totally check it out and see if it's something you want to try. On days when I do things around the house or work from home or even if I just step out for a quick coffee, I try to be as barefaced as possible. It took me a long time to accept the person that is in the mirror and 
I am finally at a point where I'm starting to like who I see. So leaving my skin bare, exposing my freckles or any dark circles because of lack of sleep is something that I feel comfortable with. And some days the skin looks better than others, but it's really all about looking in that mirror and just embracing and loving and appreciating what you have and who you are. Making a cup of coffee is a sort of a meditation for me. It's something that I look forward to and it's something that I enjoy doing. I have kind of ups and downs with coffee. Some points in my life I prefer to do matcha that is just like a more sustainable intake of caffeine and it processes much slower in the body. But honestly, I feel like during the winter time, having warm coffee and the smell of coffee is something so addictive. Recently, I started feeling better with the caffeine from coffee. So I do make sure to be in tune with my body and know when enough is enough. But I like to have about one cup of coffee a day. I like to take my cup of coffee and sit down on the sofa and just stare into space. I found that this is kind of my meditation. It really helps me to clear my mind in a way. I feel like sometimes we stop ourselves from adopting all those great little habits because we feel like we're not doing them properly. There is no right way. At the end of the day, if the outcome is you feeling refreshed and better, I think that whatever it is that gets you to that point, do it. That is your meditation. I am a big advocate of putting things on paper. I think that the 5-minute journal is a perfect little book to bring you that 5-minute of reflection every morning and night to look back, evaluate your day, look at the wonderful things that happened to you today and any accomplishment and also see what you can try and do better tomorrow. So after a long break of not journaling, I am back into it and I absolutely love it. It does feel like a self-care habit that really makes a difference in my life. If you don't have the 5-minute journal, you can literally just create a little version of your own. I have a few awesome followers that did that and sent me some examples and it's amazing. Definitely something that I would recommend everyone to do. I have always been obsessed with books. There's something about touching the pages of a book, about flipping a page, the smell of books. I feel like although we are moving away from the actual books and a lot of people are now reading with their Kindle or doing audiobooks, I will never give up on my books. I have this goal of mine to have this huge library in my house where I can go in and it's gonna be a room that just filled with books. That's something that I've always dreamed of and uh, definitely something that I will be chasing after until I get it. I'm very determined. At the moment, because I do not have that library, I have just piles and piles of books beside my bed. Although this is not a very aesthetically pleasing look, I have to say that when I wake up in the morning and look over, uh, just even reading some of the titles of the books just remind me about a little sentence or a quote that I read from there. When I do read a book, I always have a highlighter or a pen with me and that way I can highlight any sentences or anything, any words that inspired me and have that little aha uh -huh moment. When I do have the luxury of time, I love taking baths. Baths is kind of my way to relax and I love to use essential oils or some Himalayan sea salt to help with muscles, to relax my muscles and to have a little spa day at home. I would usually put some Billie Holiday in the background and feel like it transport me to another place and another time. Even a 15 minute bath can completely change the course of my day. Any small self-care rituals are always great to include. Dry brushing is one of them for me. This is definitely not something that I do on a daily basis, but I do try to squeeze it in at least once a week. I like to dry brush before I take a shower or a bath. Some of the benefits of dry brushing includes lymphatic support, exfoliation, and removing dead skin, which is something that I love, especially doing in the winter because my skin feels so dry. 
I love playing around with essential oils like lavender, peppermint, eucalyptus, some other different blends that I found. I truly believe in the power of essential oils. I am very eager to learn more about it. For me, having it on just makes me feel better and essential oils are so powerful. I love using different mixtures like this baby and mama that I just feel like suits and calms everything and everyone down and just creates a really nice atmosphere and space at home. Working from home gives me the benefit of spending time with baby Max. It has been such a ride since he joined our family. There's constant screaming and yelling and crying and there's always someone who's not happy. But Max seems to be super chilled. While Jake and Ben are at school, I really like to take a few moments during the day to stop whatever it is that I'm doing with work and to enjoy some one-on-one -on -one quality quality time with Max, just having a quiet environment and enjoying this stage that goes by so so fast. I love dancing with him, we have the best conversations and I just try to really soak in every minute even if sometimes those minutes are during 2am or 3am. I will take whatever I get. If you guys watch my content on Instagram or on YouTube, you know that I'm a big smoothie girl. Some days I don't eat clean, some days it's about junk food or I eat something that is completely not balanced. But that's where a green smoothie always kind of saves the day and that's how I bring balance into my diet. I love experimenting and creating different type of recipes and there's always something in the fridge or in the house that you can make into a smoothie. So this is my self-care habit that I try to do as often as I can to show a little love for my body from the inside. I do take the time throughout the day to disconnect I will make sure to put my phone on airplane mode even if it's for 20 or 30 minutes I allow myself that quiet time to really disconnect and to take that break I feel like it actually makes me more productive more focused you just need a little break from the world at least once a day even if it's for 10 or 15 minutes Something that I've always loved is watching older movies. There's something about the old way of romantic comedies that kind of takes me to another place and makes me feel all fuzzy and nice and warm. So I'll rewatch some old favorite classics like Breakfast in Tiffany's, Annie Hall. I also absolutely adore foreign movies now. I love to see the point of view of different cultures and you can sense a lot of those watching foreign movies and this is it you guys this is just basically a random list of things that are super simple nothing through groundbreaking that just remind me to take care of myself that brings me joy on a daily basis and that when I do feel like I need a break and something that will be like a pick-me-up depends on how much time I have I'll choose to do any of them and it will make me feel a little bit better. I would love to know how you free afresh. I'm passing the free afresh challenge on to you. What are the small moments that make you feel free and happy? Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care of yourself and I will see you next time.